Dang. But you know, in some cities, you know, they still like up north, they still cheap like that. Yeah, Baltimore, like I'm from Baltimore, so like right. I'm pre- but nah, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know no houses that's like the D, D, D Trust Chicago. They still cheap, but it's in the worst areas. Right. Like, but it's like, it's like I outgrew that. Mm. It's like, like I say, it's levels. Like when I got to the built my first house, it took me like eleven months to build it. Like I made one hundred twenty-seven thousand, not knowing what I was doing. Damn. That's <laughs> so, crazy. So it's like, why would I do any of the other two anymore? You one, made oh one twenty-seven without it legally. That's crazy. Without knowing what the hell I was doing. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Let's get it popping, man. Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is, boy? J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. I got Andy Byhouse in the building. Uh, you based out of Florida? Yes, sir. Out of Florida. You came down to the A. You linking up with some power hitters. First of all, how long you been doing the, um, the house play? Like buying houses? Well, basically, I was started buying my first house in like 2011, 2012. So you've been Mark doing this for down. a minute, too. But I just started building in um, 2020. Yeah, I saw you said you was like building in front of the ground up. At first, you started yeah. the, the like the duplex play, mm-hmm. wholesaling. Then you were like, man, I might as well just build up by myself. Right. But before we get into that, I, like I asked workout, because you've been doing it a little longer than every like all of the new school guys, there's a lot of different plays and tricks that's coming into play, right? right? And especially when we see, I mean, things like, and it's probably been around, but I'm just starting to see it with the internet. Things yeah. like mentorship, things like uh, just the internet, how it's how it's showing it, like teaching people how to do it, ebooks. Uh, I mean, selling courses. How has it changed buying the houses and flipping the houses over the course of the years since you've been doing it to now? It kind of messed up the game because they got everybody doing it that really think they could do it, but they really can't. Mm. So it got more people that are driving up the prices, paying more than what they really should be paying, mm. and it just you know changed up everything. Right. So, so now we was buying, you know, just for instance, like if you go take a class, people think if you just go take a wholesale class, you just gonna get out here and as soon as you take the class and just start, how's it gonna start coming to you? Right. But it's still a process to actually get everything. Mm. And then, you know, basically like, I just decided over the years that, you know, it's like diff- three different levels. You got the wholesale level, you got the fix and flip level, then you got the developer level. Mm. So developing at the top, fix and flip in the middle, wholesaling at the bottom. So your bag gonna determine whatever level you on. So before I get into the how, right, into the, and, and like, the inner mechanisms, like you say that, of how you do it, I want to ask, I just want to get to know you a little bit, right? So right. it's crazy because even, like, in the rap game, I'm pretty sure the drug game or whatever, the streets, whatever, you got to adapt with the times. Right. Right? So, like, yeah, I, re- I remember at a time when um, Jay-Z made uh, Death of Auto-Tune because it was changing. And then we seen, like... The rappers that was dancing and we had called mumble rap and we was like man they messing up the game right. but eventually the good artists are the ones that adapt to it and keep going instead of like critiquing it how have you adapted to the new way of doing things over the time basically just got a link with the younger generation mm. they know all that computer stuff we really we old school we don't really know all that like that so we got to link up with them to help them get us on, on their way okay so y'all, have you uh, adapted some of the like uh, the ways of the the new school, like the ebooks, the classes, and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, that's something new. It's new for me, but that's something I had to adapt to to you know survive. How many ebooks you think you got out? I got two. Two? How they doing? They going good? I got one free one that I give out, and then I got one that I, that I charge for. How much? They're doing it? pretty good. Ninety nine dollars. Now, how, how much you think you you bringing in a month for them? Just from that? From that, I don't really push like I knew like I need to. Like mm-hmm. I don't really. I kind of do more of like. Like when they see me, they be like, "What? What? What all you offer?" So basically, I told you I got three different things, three different price points, and a lot of them, a lot of people just want to try to get that to, to get to know me. Mm. Cause it's the cheapest thing. Okay. So I don't really push like that, like I'm supposed to, because you know I ain't on that young generation wave. Yeah. I've been working. That's why I'm hooking up with landlord too. He 
helping me get on, get up on that, get more up on that. Yeah, and I was, I was just curious because like, like I, I, everybody keeps telling me to get into the digital products, the eBooks, and it's like, man, I'm trying, I'm like, I'm gonna do it, but it's like, ah, what about the hundred plate, the hundred hundred K plate? plate. Yeah, that? that's that's a boot camp I do. Like basically, what I do is teach people how to make a hundred K on every plate we do when we build a house. All right, hold up, T talk to me. Let's get it before we get to the three stages. I need this because it's right there. Right. Give me the hundred K play. Okay, the hundred K play is what we do. Basically, we help you get your credit right. How? We repair your credit for you. What I gotta do? I gotta pay you to do this? Yeah, it's part of joining the program. How much is the program? The program right now is like it's ten grand, but I gotta do discounts. Like if you sign up before the end of this month, it's seventy five hundred. Next month, eighty five hundred. How how far along are we in here? Um, we five minutes in. We gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. The I'm gonna start. You know, I'm gonna ask you for some. I'm gonna wait though, cause they gotta earn this. They can't just come in five minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. All right, right. so they uh, it's ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, you get their credit fix. Mm -hmm. What's next? We repair the credit. We show you how to get the high limit cards. So you how to take the money off the cards. Then you use those cards to start your project. Is this guaranteed? If I'm paying you ten bands, is it guaranteed? It's guaranteed. You gonna know how to do it. It ain't guaranteed. You gonna do it. That's on you. What can you guarantee me outside of the knowledge? Can you guarantee me a, 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 a you gonna fix my credit? Can you guarantee me um, some funding on the back end? Yeah, if, as long as you get, as long as your credit right, you can get funding easy. That's that's a, we gonna show you. We are gonna give you 20, 30 different lenders. But are platform. you gonna do the work for me? No, we don't never do the work for you. Mm -hmm. We show you how to do everything. I got a mastermind program where I do it with you. Okay. Like that's when I walk you through the whole process of building a whole house with you. So what's the difference between the ten k? The right? price. Mm, the hundred k play. Is no, the hundred the, the k play. Okay, the boot camp is basically where I show you how. I give you the game. You come to me. I give you the game. You go back to your city and you run the play. Mm. The mastermind is where I give you the game, but I'm also walking you through the whole process to your first house get. Wait, done. how much? How much is the thirty five thousand? Ten to thirty. That ain't bad. I mean, how much? What you guarantee on 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 that on that on that tip? That you're gonna have a house. That you're gonna have a house built. Okay, but, but that's it's, it's gonna up. be on your terms. Like once we get your credit and all that junk done, we're gonna show you how to get the funding. Now you still got like I'm not controlling your money. You still got your money, so you paying your workers. You paying for everything. You doing everything. I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, so wait, I got a, I got a friend, right? He um. He does, uh, he, he's trying to do this NACA thing. You ever heard of NACA? Mm -hmm. So NACA, I guess, uh, you don't have to like pay no down payment or nothing. Like they help you get your house and stuff like yeah. that. And they help you, uh, matter of fact. Yeah, we don't do none of that. So yeah. We all credit card, hard money lenders. We need easy money. We mm -hmm. ain't trying to, stuff like that, you got to qualify for it. Yeah. And you got, we don't do all that. We just won't, we going to pay, high, we pay higher interest rates on our, on our money because it's easier to get. It's no docs. Mm. So we maybe have a 12 to 15 percent interest rate, but anybody could get it. 12 like to 15 percent interest rate at the, the house or like lenders, from the hard money lenders. Okay. So basically, what it is like they they fronting you the money. Okay. That's basically what it is. They don't know you. They don't like you ain't got no record. You never built the house. So how can you complain about you want a low interest rate when you ain't got when you ain't never did nothing? But these are people you got relationships with, so like, right. it's, you could just make a call like, yo, I got somebody that's trying right. to do like, it. People that come to my program, they know that I taught them, so they know that I'm a, you know, they're going to know, know what they're doing. So that's a win-win, kind of. Right. That's what you get out of it. Like, basically, we give you the game and we give you the connect. So how much is how much am I paying if, if um, 12, because let's say I, I'm, I'm at home just watching the interview. I'm just trying to get into it. I don't really know percentages and interest rates, if we talking about 12, you say it's expensive, but how high is that? Like how, how much the am I average, paying? If you go to a bank, you could probably get the same thing about six, seven percent. Okay. So how much is that on? What's realistic a house might cost? I don't know, 200,000. We build them for like 150, $100, $100 square foot. We build 1,500 square foot house. Okay, so 150,000, how much I'm paying extra on top of that? For 12, with 12, with 12 percent. I don't even look at the numbers. Mm. The numbers don't even matter to me. Cause it, the, 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 think about it. I look at these numbers. Okay. For instance, how much is it going to cost you not to do it? Mm. How much I'm scared. Gonna... I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm, you can't I'm get iffy. no money. Let's say, I'm, let's say I'm at home, right? Right. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing it, and I want all the information I can get. Right? So let's say, I guess I can do the math. I guess 150 times what? Just 0. 0.12? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be, yeah, let me see. Then it might be like three more points. They charge three points up front. So that's a, another. And for every hundred thousand, that's like a thousand off the hundred thousand. Okay. So if you up. get in one hundred fifty thousand, that'd be one point five, fifteen hundred. Okay. So that's for it. every hundred thousand, well, fifteen hundred for that. Yeah. You know, for each see. point. Yeah. So you're looking at like twenty two five. 
mm-hmm. extra, but how much you gonna make off of that? Right, you making over hundred, so why? I don't even worry about those numbers mm. cause it don't really make sense. When you think about those numbers, what you paying somebody, it may kind of make you think like well, I don't want to get them that. Right, I ain't trying to get them that, but you gotta understand, but you they make money, they taking saying, the risk. Yeah, smart. I don't care if I'm making. How many people are smart? We got some smart people. We got some smart people out here, I know here, bro. some of them. I'm just saying. Most people don't think. They're not thinking like that. They're yeah. thinking like what the next man making. They're not thinking about what they're going to make. So let's put some things in perspective, right? So if you right. let's say you at home, you you feel me? Like you're looking at Andy like, I'm trying to buy some houses. I'm trying to be like Andy. I'm trying to be like Andy buy a house. I'm going to be, I don't know, Joe Smo buy duplexes. Huh? Whatever your name <laughs> you want to be, right? Let's right. say you you that guy, right? Yeah. So you know what? 10K, oh, nah, I, need, I need some extra help. I'm going to up the ante. You know, I'm a, I might have a lot of money in my uh, 401k. I'm going to take out 35. I'm going to give it to Andy. 35, Andy going to get you the uh, the hard money lender. He going to charge you, let's say, a high on a high rate, 15. So if you make 150, you only kick. Think about it like this. You kicked out 35 plus the 20. That's 55. Two on top, that's 57. 57.5. 57, right. You kick it out 57.5, but you made 100. You made like 95. Why not? You ain't had to do nothing. And then the next one, you don't need me. You know how to do it now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I if you ain't, I uh, feel like. I just said, like, but my whole thing is to teach you how to do it one time so you don't need me no more. Mm. I'm not trying to keep you coming back to me. Right. My goal is to show you how to do it, now you go run it up. Just to interview me, why though? Because if nigga like me, if I'm running a business, I'm trying to keep you coming back. I want you yeah. to come back again. It's been 35. Not, not me. It ain't like I, I do this for this for what I do. Mm. It ain't about the money with me. I, I just like I didn't even I was doing it by myself, but people got me to showing other people like this was I don't even I didn't even like talking to people. I ain't really deal with people. I was low key stayed by myself and just made my money on my own. Mm. But then people say, man, you got something different. Like you need to let people know about that. Like, so it's, like, it's kind of like they taught me into teaching everybody. Cause that's I a, wasn't really... the new school way of things, right. though, right? Like, you got to, though. <laughs> so it's... that's that's the reason why I do it. And it ain't, like, all about the money. It's all about, like, I want to deal with people that's going to really do it. Like, I don't want to be dealing with people. That's why my price so high. Mm. When I, I I started off low, 2500 3500 People leaving the boot camp, but they ain't making no move. They just going course to course. Mm. Just taking courses. So I'm like, I'm going to keep raising my price so I get serious people in here. Okay. So... That's, that's what I've been doing. And now I'm finna start going into we doing start doing townhomes and subdivisions. So the price gonna go up higher. So all right, I seen um a part of your story you was doing a duplex thing first, I think. That was like your first one of your Yeah, I bought a duplex first. You bought a duplex. Yeah. What did you do with it? You sold it or you rented it out? My mama living in there. That's fire. What you did you do with it originally? It was always for your mom's? No. Nah, my first goal was just to get it and rent it out and then just just to have income. Right there. Did you do that? Yeah, but it, I, 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 I learned on that one. Like, what I spent so much money <laughs> rehabbing that house, like, getting the workers from off the off the street, from Home Depot, no tools. So it's like I had other people that had to come fix what they did. So I, I like, spent way more, double the price on fixing it than I should have paid. How was the renting process for you, though? Like, because I know a lot of people thinking about getting into the, the renting. First, I was, I was on that Section 8 jump, on the Section 8, that's for sure money. But then you start realizing, like, when them people move, they tend out their property. So a lot of that money you made from, you're spending it back fixing up the house. It's funny, because I just, again, I was just talking to my man. He was like, yo, he knows somebody that had Section 8, and it was clutch because it's, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's guaranteed money for real. Right. But he was like, by the time he got the crib back, it was done. It was, it, they tore it up. Right. And like you said, the money that you probably get off the rent, it ain't that much. You right. want to put it right back into the crib. <laughs> Nah, did so, you do? Did you try renting again after that? Once you had the knowledge, I was renting for a while, but I stopped. I changed who I was renting to, and I stopped doing Section Eight, mm. and just started doing regular renters. Regular renters, how that how that worked? It went way better, and they usually stay longer and mm. take care of it more. And I realized too, like the less the less bedrooms you got, the better tenant you usually get. Damn. Because they, they just think about it, the more rooms you got, the more kids. Oh wow! And the kids are really the ones tearing it up. Right. Okay. Wait. So, cause now they're like, yo, I've been hearing a duplex thing, right? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about trying to get into it, but I hear some people saying, man, you know, like renting, renting ain't really the way to go. It's as annoying as a right. hassle. Well, but- I do a short term rental, Airbnb, um, pad split. We do um, traveling nurses, college students. Okay. 
So we build we building houses just to do that. We don't want no no regular long term tenants no more. Why not? We don't grow out of that. Why not? What's the because of, like just say for instance, when the, when the um COVID hit, all these people trying to get these people out of their properties. I heard they about lose that. the money. They 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 got people been in their property two three years. They ain't paid no rent. I heard about they that. They still got a mortgage. They got to pay. Or they lose the property. Facts. So it turned rent and you ain't got to deal with that. Damn. Okay. And then what we doing too? Like we building houses in the front. And if the if the lot over four to seven hundred square foot, we could put an ADU in the back, apartment garage. So that's meant like we got a, a duplex or triplex, cause we could convert that garage into another unit. But wait, I heard that like you, you can't really do that if the zoning ain't correct. No, it's got to be zoned single family. That's it. It ain't got to be zoned or com- no commercial or nothing. Multi-family. Okay, so no, as long it just as it got to be over four to seven hundred square feet. And, and that's is that anywhere? Or is that just Florida? That's, a lot of people got it, Cali. Um, different places bringing it around just to make it more affordable housing for people. Okay, because yeah. I, like I said, again, I'm just learning this. Like my man was trying to do it, but he was like, "Yo, if it's not registered through the state as mm-hmm. a, like a, a duplex or a quadplex, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. can't just tear it down and build it up as a quad." That's multi-family. That's no, that's if you're doing a quad. We don't do quads. We do a regular house, one house in the front. I know you don't see that went by places. You might not own know if y'all got them. Y'all probably should have them here. You see a house in the front, then behind it you see another a, apartment on top of a garage mm. or an in-law suite in the back. Or like what we call maybe like a guest house or something. Yeah, like a guest house. That's what we're doing. They letting you do those now on lots. We're building those. That That's way we get more income off that one single family lot. It's not zone multifamily. If it's zone multi, we're just going to put the duplex or the triplex on it. But okay. it ain't zone for that. It's only zone single family. But so you zone allowing... a single family, you get cheaper. Um, it's cheaper to, to get it probably. Probably cheaper taxes. I'm pretty sure there's well, some benefits in that, yeah. right? To do that. Yeah, it's basically just limits you just supposed to be one house. Damn. And they, they don't really want no commercial stuff on it or multifamily. But, but the finesse is the, the, the finesse, yeah. Damn, okay. That's fire. We getting somewhere. I'm, about, I'm, trying, I'm trying to do this myself. <laughs> All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we doing... What about, let's say... Because, you know, a lot of the affordable cribs or houses that we trying to get is in, like, it ain't in the best neighborhood. Would you suggest that? Or would you, like, say, it go for the best neighborhood? It depends on your purpose. Like, if you're doing it as an investor or somewhere to live. An investor, for sure. Investor, like, where we from, the neighborhood don't really matter. They selling, like, in the hood, they selling for 450 Damn. 400 450 So it's like, we all we got to do, I'm in St. Pete, basically building majority of everything. So basically, we got, we surrounded by water. We, like, on the peninsula. Mm. So it's like they really trying to get everybody out of there so they can raise the price up and we're going to be like the next Miami. Mm. So right now, you know, the lots, our lots cost up for like a 5,000 square foot lot. You're going to be paying like 100 to 120 just for the lot. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, Right. They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Damn. Okay, so what's the, what's the like, again, like a nigga like me, somebody might be watching, what's the best, what would you think is the best route to come in on on some investment type time? Huh? Like not, not with your experience, but like, even if they ain't buy it, they, they got a couple of dollars. They got a couple of dollars. Say they got 150 saved. What would you suggest? Like, like I say, it's the level. What, how much you want to make? That's what mm-hmm. it is. You could do the wholesaling. That's gonna be the easiest and cheapest. Wholesaling. Yeah. That's when you buy it, flip it. You don't even buy nothing. You just put it on the contract and you sell it to some. You let sell your contract to somebody else. I heard that shit ain't as easy as it sounds. It ain't. But, My man was doing. He said he uh he was. Had a virtual assistant, had people calling, him, but then they was flaking on them, finessing them, saying they weren't really doing the calls. Right. All you gotta do is get somebody that's willing to sell. Once they said they're willing to sell, you get the contract signed, then you go sell it to somebody else. But he was like, man, he was doing, he did a like a thousand calls. It's like it's not easy. It ain't easy. It ain't nothing easy in real estate. 
Okay. But them just the levels. That's the level of that. Like if you doing something that's the cheapest, you know, you're gonna tell to do the most work. Mm. Cause everybody doing it. Everybody want the easy route. Okay. Next after that, that's the fix and flip. So when I was doing okay, when I was doing wholesaling, I was making between five to twenty grand. When I started doing the flips, I was making anywhere between thirty to eighty. Give me the game on a flip real quick. The flips is just when you just buy a house and just like what I was doing, I was buying a house and I was just putting a little makeup on it and resell it to another investor. Mm. Cause I didn't want to buy it, fix it, then sell it to a retail or like somebody gonna live in it because it took too long and it was too many. Like I didn't want to go through the inspections and all that cause the stuff might come up to where, you know, you gotta behind get... walls. Now you spending way more money, more time in it. So okay. me, I just buy, it, put a little makeup on it, sell it. Make about 30, 40 grand to another investor. What am I looking for when I'm like, if I want to do that, if I want to do a quick flip type? You're thing? looking for something that that ain't that don't look too bad. Like you want to pull up to it, just like it might be outdated. It may have like the yard messed up, you know, stuff like that. You don't want nothing where the roof all leaning, and you don't want, you don't want that where it's gonna take a lot of money. How much are, are we doing that through credit too? Or you you paying like straight cash? I don't do that no more. I'm That's saying the, when you like if somebody right then to I was that. doing cash by then. Like what you thinking? Like like a hundred. Right. Did no, he? back then, they, that's when they were cheap. They were like 16, 17. They were like 40 grand, 50 grand then. You ain't, they ain't about to get right. that. Like, that. That's over with. <laughs> it's slow for that. That's over with. I'm like, shit, I got that. Can we do that? What's up? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's over with. But Damn. you know, in some cities, you know, they still, like up north, they still cheap like that. Yeah, in Baltimore, like, I'm from Baltimore, so like, right. I'm pr- but nah, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know no houses that's like the D, the D Trust Chicago, they still cheap, but it's in the worst areas. Right. Like, but it's like, it's like I outgrew that. Mm. It's like, like I say, it's levels. Like when I got to the built my first house, it took me like eleven months to build it. Like I made one hundred twenty-seven thousand, not knowing what I was doing. Damn, that's <laughs> so, crazy. So it's like, why would I do any of the other two anymore? You one, made oh one twenty-seven without it legally. That's crazy. Without knowing what the hell I was doing. Yo, so tell me about this then. Like, let's get into that's this the that's, that's the crunch the of the matter right here. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> that's what they get for the ten grand. That's what they get. That's what I'm teaching them how to do that. So it's like, see, I ain't even thinking about the ten. I'm thinking about the thirty five because I need I need a little help. You know what I'm right. saying? I want you to help me do it. That's why majority of the people like I got like close to twenty people in that program. Like over half of them already got lots in building. Mm. One of them, the farthest one alone, he got the house up. He doing the rough framing and plumbing. No, I meant the rough electrical, HVAC, and plumbing. So they down there over halfway through. So you get all of that that funding from the credit cards too, or am I st- am I coming out m- more money? Just curious. Like no, I'm- credit cards and the hard money. So you are gonna start off getting your money off the credit credit card. So just say for instance, I was, we'll go through a scenario. One of my students. Let's go. Yeah, run through it. All right, they bought. I said, I, my mastermind people, I sell them some of my lots too. Oh, I help them find lots. So that's an advantage too. So I sold one of them a lot for 85000 $85, mm. So basically they got like fifty or like forty five from the hard money lender. And the rest of it, they got off their credit card. So basically we show them how to wire the money off the credit card straight to the title company. Mm. Okay, so that's that's where that come from. Now they got their lot. Okay, now we wire you. We're going to spend like another thirty five k off the credit cards to get to the put do your foundation, your footers, your underground plumbing. You're gonna get your walls up. Now we go to the hard money lender. It's what we got. We got this done. Now we need your first draw. Now we need some money. You know, we got our skin in the game. Now we need the money from you to finish it. Mm. So we don't hear they think we use our money, but we use the credit cards for everything. And you just pay that shit back once you, right. you sell it. And then you go also, you ain't even gotta wait that long. Like you if you want to, you, know, you go like we get extra from the hard money lender than what we really need. So basically just say for instance that first draw, he give just say we get 150 from the hard money lender, he give us three draws of fifty thousand. We really only need forty thousand to do it. So mm-hmm. basically we're gonna take ten thousand out of that. We could use that to pay down some of the cards, the monthly minimums on it. Or we could use that to um pay down some of the pay down from the land, when you you know you pay your payments on the land, uh, you can pay the land or you can pay the cards with that. So when you say you sell them your lots, the lot is the land itself, yeah, the, land. The, the piece of land mm-hmm. that you're gonna build the house on top of. Mm-hmm. Damn, this is crazy. You said this is thirty five. It's ten for the boot camp. The boot camp, but thirty five for the photo mastermind, and that's going up to forty um, by the end of this end of this year. You know, I'm about to ask you for something. <laughs> 
Come on, man. Listen, it's oh, different man. over here, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> you we are like you said, niggas don't that niggas don't respect nothing for free. Right. But I want to give somebody a chance. Okay. Well, so what, what what they got? What they got? They got to have something. Yeah. Let's let's make it because this ain't no little boy shit. Right. Like we got yeah. like. What we thinking, Seth? I need I need something serious, like, cause I want the big Kahuna. And I, I want that was crazy for I want the yeah I want the big boy joint, but they got to do a couple things. They they, they they can get the boot camp. They ain't getting a mastermind. That's too much. <laughs> that's too much work on me. Okay. I, I I got we do Zoom calls every week with them. Okay. So I got to deal with them every week. Okay. Let's do um. The boot camp. What they got to do? What you need help with? What you uh, we gotta make them do something? Cause ten thousand, that's not that's right. not lo- that's not light. Right. So basically, um, I don't know. Go to Instagram, Andy by Houses on Instagram. Follow, share. I don't know. I don't yeah, know nothing about that. Like that. That's yeah. y'all were. Yeah, you don't about need about no that. Instagram follow. <laughs> look, 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 look. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. If you go on Instagram, fo- follow Andy by Houses, right? I need you to send out. You got any marketing material on there, like of your boot camp and stuff? Yeah. Send share it to ten people. And once you shared it to ten people, I need you to DM Andy by Houses done. Say I got this from J Hill podcast, J Hill interview. I shared this with to ten people. I'm done, and we're going and just choose a random person. All right, I'm gonna let you choose the random person. Matter of fact, share it to me then. Or matter of fact, comment under. Not my last, not my first Instagram post. Let's do it for real. We got to make this shit real, man. I'm trying to get you niggas some money. Y'all bet not saying I ain't never do nothing. For real. I'm trying to get niggas some money. All right, so look. This is what we're going to do, right? Let me see. Not my last post, but my second to last Instagram post. I need you to tag Andy by houses and say done. But you, I'm going to ask you. If you say done, I need to see you share it for 10 people. Because come on, man. We, this is $10,000 worth of... You know what I'm saying? Like, situation right here. So, I need you to at least share it to 10 people so he can at least make his, he could at least possibly make his money back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's only right. fair. Yeah. I, I think that's fair. And then after they come, after they come to the boot camp, I want them to contact you and let you know how it was. Yeah, we might have to do a uh, testimonial. Shit, I fuck around. I might have to comment <laughs> under my, 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 my <laughs> I'm going to comment under my post done. Yo, choose me. Nah, I we, do that. we do it in Florida, so they got to come to Florida. Okay. Like we do it in person, everything in person. So basically, let me tell you how we run it down. Um, We got Gigi coming on. She's going to come and teach you how to, you know, get the credit, how to get the high limit cards, how to hide your utilization once you take the money off the card. Then I'm going to come in and show you the 40 steps on how to build a house, what I'm paying for everything. Like how I find my workers, my architect, the engineer, everybody. Then I'm gonna have the arg- I'm gonna have an architect, engineer, general contractor, and hard money lender come to the boot camp. Mm. So you get that info right then. Them, them four plugs right there. You get that. Then the next day, I'm gonna take you on the tour to all the properties that I'm building. Me and my um, some of my students. So you're gonna get to see everything that we taught you the day before in person. Mm. Then after that, we have a, like a WhatsApp chat that everybody be in. So like. If you have questions or anything when you out here trying to do it yourself, you get to put it in there, and then you linked up with all type of people that's all over the world, like all over the U.S. See, all you gotta do, we want that boot camp, right? All you gotta do is uh, go to Andy uh, by Houses page, share his um, boot camp flyer to ten people, comment on my second to last video, done, and then I'm gonna verify, and we're gonna choose one person, not ten people, one person. Let me ask you this. What up? Cause I'm, I'm thinking of, I'm trying. I'm me. I'm a, I'm a black man from the project, so we had to figure it out a way. You feel me? So, let's say, cause I don't, that boot camp was cool, mm-hmm. but let's say I get three of my friends, right? We like, yo, I'm trying to invest into this mastermind. Right. Let's all put up ten, eleven point five, right? We get, I get the thirty five, cause of course you're gonna teach one person. Right. I get the thirty five. I get the knowledge. Do you think that's a smart... I'm just curious. Like, do you think that's a, a way to really get your skin, so, foot in the game? Tell you another scenario. We got one of my... Stu- what, a couple of my students from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. They, um... One of them had the credit. The other one going to do the bill. So they teamed up on it. Mm. The female, she had the credit. So, um... And these the people that's the farthest in the program that's like, that I'm telling you about that's almost through. About halfway, over halfway through. So basically, she had the good credit and he wanted to do all the building part. So mm-hmm. basically, he he's the one that be like in the mastermind calls and groups and all that, and basically she just used her credit for the whole process. 
But so that's still only one. That's technically only one, one person, person for right. So they like, teamed better... up and did it. So it ain't no such thing as like you you can't find a way to do it. You can find a way to do it. You just gotta have a hustle. Like if you if it's something you want in life, you are gonna hustle to get it. So basically, you can use somebody else's credit to help you do do your funding. Mm. It ain't like you ain't got to wait on yours to get ready. If you already know somebody, your mama credit good or somebody else credit already good. Why you want to use them so you can move fast instead mm. of waiting? Damn, now I only gotta wait for my credit to get built because I got some money. Right. Man, y'all niggas better take this game. So man. it basically is like it's on it's on you. Whenever however you wanna move. Like the money out here, you see everybody building everywhere around you. You see it, it's being done. So you know it, it's working. Nah, it's hard. just you not on the one receiving it. <laughs> You're not the one doing it. I guess well let's talk some pros and cons. Just curious. I'm, I'm okay. playing devil's advocate, right? Let's say my credit good. Right, mm-hmm. and I can get because they I know they got like different programs for for first home buyers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Why? Let's say I'm one of them people. I still should come to your your mastermind. If it's a first time home buyer, that's most likely you buying a house for yourself. Mm-hmm. That's not investment. Okay, so they don't give out uh different. Let's do the best for the house you got to live in. It'd be stipulations on that when you paying no money or low money down. It's okay. Stipulations to where you it got to be something that's for you. But shit, I'm getting a duplex. Like if you get an investment property from a bank, they usually want twenty percent down. Okay, but I mean that's same with the. But we not. I'm not using my money. Right. Though. With I'm the like, bank, with the bank, you got to use your money. Facts. You can't credit card the bank. Okay. Okay. You see, I'm trying. I'm trying to f- right. find some loopholes. But no, nah, I like that. I like that. Unless oh. you could, unless you run the same play, like you just um send your money off a of credit card. But but then you got them. They may be asking how you get your money. Like you got them worrying about where you get where that money come from. Mm. Who asking the bank when you're dealing with banks? So if I get it, if I get like a couple credit cards and I liquidate the money off the credit cards and I give it to the bank, then they might ask. Right, like how how do you get your money? Can like, I tell them I got it off the credit cards? And they may look at you like they want you to have reserves. Like they want you. They may want you to have a certain amount in your bank account. They oh, may okay. want you to have this. You know, it's you know dealing with the bank. It's, that's why we don't deal with them at all because there's too much, too many guidelines. I like this. It's bro. cheaper. But they were like, yeah, you're gonna get stuff cheaper, but it's more of a headache for us. Okay. Like for people like us that's yeah, just out here trying to trying to make black it. people, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so for it's like sure. it's it's a way more it's way harder dealing with them. And the only reason I started doing it the credit card way, because you know, I've been in prison. I got out, I was in federal prison when I turned 18. I got out when I was like 22. So it's like, you know, my record was messed up. And then, you know, we got we can't go to no bank. You know, we ain't got the tax returns or everything they need for the bank to get a loan from them. And then for us trying to get money from them to do a project like that, trying to get, you know, over $10,000, 20000 they ain't really trying to give us that much type of money. Mm. So I just created a way to where, like, I know it's easy to get credit cards. So I just got my report cleaned up and just started using the credit cards, taking the money off the cards, and that's how I came up with the scenario of using yeah, I wanna, the credit cards. I want to challenge you, bro. I know you don't want to do it, bro. No, you don't want to do it, but I'm, I'm really for the people. I want to challenge you. Did you when you came out of jail, you had a felony? Had a bunch of felonies. Yeah, I want to challenge you. I don't know if we got felons watching this, bro. Let's say twenty one and under. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you got a record. It might not have to be a felony. Twenty one and under, young mm-hmm. guy, old woman. I want to challenge you. I'm putting you on the spot, bro. I need. I need that mastermind class. Twenty one. I need to. It be a young guy. I want to, like a real mentorship where they they can learn. Like because you came through a lot of things and you ain't had nobody to, to really show you the way. Right. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's how I learned. That's yeah, so like it could be eighteen to twenty one. It don't have to be like if you twenty five. Like nah, like you grown. Like eighteen, it could be nineteen. But think about this too. When we were that age, we didn't really listen to nobody. Facts, but we, I want to get somebody but opportunity. It's, it's somebody out there that's that that really want it. But how how you gonna find that person? Mm. Like, I'm, I don't like I don't waste my time with like anybody. Facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. especially like we not when we was that young. We, we you can't tell that, us. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't got time to play with that. Yeah, facts. But if it's a, I know it may be somebody that you know that that's really ready. Yeah, but I don't it's know, gonna be yeah. really hard to find that person. Yeah, I don't know. That's hard. Cause, yeah, yeah, cause like they might want you know they might say they want to do something, but they they minding that they still yeah. Out here. So it's like, what you need help I with? I do more like I'm more like put them to like work. A, what you need help with? I know it's something that we could have them test it before they even get the mastermind. You gotta test them for at least like six months or some shit. Put them to work. 
I don't know. Make them work for it. Shit. I don't know. What you need help with? I really want to get somebody opportunity. I th- I just think it would be dope okay. because where, where, where you come from? I told you my flaw. What I told you my flaw was when we've been, we been talking. The social media stuff. Yeah, ooh. So but you, you, can't can't get, you can't get nobody your password and shit like that, though. No, they can make them create some kind of something. I don't know. They got to get creative. Let hey, them... <laughs> I'm liking this. That's the only thing that'd be worth it to me. Other than that, it ain't worth it. You gotta make me how you make me some make me something to where I can make money from it to pay for your mastermind. Mm. How about that? This fire. Okay, we, what we gonna do? Eighteen to twenty one. What's up, dude? So I don't even you don't even care about the age. Long long as you get me something to make me money to pay for your mastermind, I don't care about letting you in. We also s- create some kind of way to. I don't Last, know. we looking for a social media manager, right? And he said he's not good with social media. You come up with it. If you see this video, hit me up. I'm going to send it to Andy. I'm going to say, yo, I'm going to choose one person. Tag, you know what I'm saying? Tag on a second last post. to be like, yo, um, social media, ma- Andy, social media manager. Yo, I'm out here trying to help you niggas out, bro. I don't got to do this, bro. Come on, I could actually do this shit myself. Right? You know what I'm saying? But I mean this. I really want to help people. So um, if you serious about it, Second to last post, Andy, uh, social media man- manager. I'm gonna choose one person. We gonna choose one person. We gonna try to get you. We try to help the people, bro. Like he don't have to say yes to that. He could be like, nah, bro, I'm good. Like he don't have to. You feel me? Like, but I definitely want to um, challenge you, me, everybody, the world, yeah. people to see this. Like, bro, like it's it's people out here that care and really want to help people out. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm willing to do it, but just just don't be. You know, a lot of people say their social media manager. You go to their page, they got 300 followers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like we ain't looking for that. If, if you do it, we need to see your, see it on your page too. Cause if you do it, it your page will be up, mm. right? Yeah. So we gonna look for that too. So don't just come saying you do it and you know. Hey, get, I, I ain't mad at it. Right. I ain't. At least let's say, let's say this: it's tentative, but the opportunity is in the air. We don't know. Right. It's, it's in the air. It's not nothing guaranteed, but the, at least the opportunity is there. So if you serious, nigga told me when I was young, if you serious, you gonna make a way. All you feel the time. me? So. Like, we ain't saying who we going to do it. If we even going to do it, we just saying the opportunity is there. Comment, Andy, social media manager, and if you serious, you'll find a way. Yeah, I, all, all we did was we opened the door. Right. It's up to you. That's to do. You know they got to walk in. Hey, so I I, I I think that's fair. I'm fair. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with that. Yeah. I'm all right with that. I ain't mad at that. I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? So um, we trying to get you some, get some money and some knowledge, man. Uh, Any missed opportunities? I feel like that was, that was, we talked about, we touched on pretty much everything. Yeah, we basically touched on everything. All right, that's what we got like, going on. I like that. I like that. Anything else? What else? Is, uh, we got the um, the five day challenge coming up. You want to tell people about that? Basically, um, I don't really know the um effects on it. Okay. Like, he, he, I'm basically just yeah. You just on like it. you just working and he ain't even that ain't even your play. Yeah, that, right that's now. his play. I'm just coming on that with him. Okay. And then we gonna run something next. after that. We ain't came up with that. Yeah, yet. it's your next. It's your next. You yeah. gotta do like a ten day. Play like a Friday, easy play. You remember me get this? Right. Nah, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, for the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and everything, man. Andy by houses on Instagram. I'm on YouTube too. But Andy. The, the Instagram is really what I be on every day. But I'm trying to get the YouTube up. So, yo, tapping with the mastermind, tapping with the uh the boot camp, bro. You really trying to get this money? It's out here. It's out here. All you right. gotta do is go get it. Just look around you. You see it around you every day. Nah, facts, man. I know you got to get to the airport. I appreciate you again, man. Andy Bauhaus is Mr. J-Hill. J-Hill Podcast is a wrap. That was good.